and welcome to Evening Transfer Talk. I'm joined by Peter Rabbit, and you guessed it, Joel's Trade Spotting and Roblox. I mean, Roblox and Train Spotting. Ah! All right, let's begin. Rumor Owen talks sign Iran striker Zardar Asmoon from Zenit St. Petersburg, Sky to the report. Smile eye! Oh well, who cares? White, Ben White, is expected to have his. to have his Arsenal medical. <laughs> Arsenal. Medical? On Wednesday, with a £50 million deal for the defender having been agreed with Brighton last week. Which feels like 50 years ago. Probably because I've been watching way too much of the Olympics. Ooh. Anyway, Steven Gerrard has looked to silence some of the noise surrounding a new contract for Connor Goldson. Crystal Palace are in talks to sign Denmark International centre back Joachim Anderson from League One's from Ligue 1 side Leon. Anderson impressed during a season long loan spell at Fulham, despite the West London club's relegation to the Championship in May. Is Martial on his way? Woo! We rhymed! Lil Chesh and Lil Pete! But his days are, his days at United are all but over after Jadon and Sancho's move was sealed. But where could he go? Tottenham? Who knows? Oh, McNeil is our player on Sean Deitch. Ronaldo set to stay at Juventus and Arsenal have confirmed a third Ramsdale bid in the region of £25 million. Rangers spot Steven Gerrard has hailed the attitude of summer signing fashion Zakala after the Zambian forward netted in a 2-1 friendly victory against Real Madrid. Damari Gray came off the bench during Everton's 1-1 draw of Miranus to make... His first appearance for the club. He scored a 64th minute penalty to bring Everton level and impressed on his debut. Will he actually... Will he impress? Potentially. Not only that, but unfortunately, Aston Villa have announced that assistant head coach John Terry has left the club. Probably because of... Probably because he was flirting with Dean Smith's missus. His plan is to become a manager. Oh. Dean Smith is disappointed to lose John as part of his coaching staff and under- but understands and respect his decision. What price for Kane? I mean, we've heard about £160 million. Jadon Shaqiri's Liverpool future could be decided in the next week with interest from the likes of Sevilla, Villarreal, Lazio and Napoli. They had a good Euros in them. Federico Chiesa is unlikely to join Liverpool because he's too expensive. They are not buying because they feel that with the market and availability as it is at the moment, allied with who they already had. It means they don't need to. Well... At least in that position. But what we do need is a midfielder. Eric Lamella has done a medical in Spain after Tottenham and Sevilla fully agreed the swap deal involving Brian Gill. Brad update! Manchester United are close to a full agreement in principle on personal terms with the representatives of Real Madrid defender Rafael Varane. They could challenge for the title with him. And it's a done deal! Tottenham have signed winger Brian Gill from Sevilla for £21.6 million, with Eric Lamella also going the other way, as it's a swap deal, plus cash. Talks between Fulham forwards Abu, Abu Bakar Kamara and Greece Super League Eek side Aris have broken down. His contract 
runs until 2024. And Connor Bradley has signed a new long-term contract with Liverpool. Could it potentially maybe make his mark in the Premier League this season? Maybe, I guess. PSG are expected to firm up their Pogba interest. They're expected also to make it formal soon. But we're going to bid. And yes, Lamella left Spurs for Zavia. Uh, who cares? And it's a done deal that Nicolas Moller joins Victoria Clone on loan. No new Juventus deal for Ronaldo just yet. West Ham United remain in talks with PSG over the signing of keeper Alphonse Ariola. They want to do a loan with an option to buy, while PSG's preference is a sale. There, he's one of a number of players. Peterborough FC's famous player Joyce has sadly died. It, it's at the age of 88. Rest in peace, Joyce. I think I've heard of him. I mean, at least he had a long life in terms of life terms. What if accident is a poison? Anyways, um, frick all of that. I mean, frick all of that. Um, PS Ariola's what one of a number of players PSG are happy to release. To free up wages and squad space, but frick, frick talking about sad news like that. And let's move back on to the transfers. That's what I meant. But yeah, rest in peace, Joyce. 88, though. Long life. West Ham United remain in talks with Vladimir Kuf Sufal. It's Sufal. I need to stop calling him Kufal. Representatives over an improved contract. And it's a damn deal. Brighton. Women. Women, by the way. Have announced the signing of Liverpool winger Rinsola Babbage on a season long loan deal. Former West Ham striker Marco Anatovic is on his way to Italy to sign with Bologna as they are close to completing a £2.6 million deal with Shanghai SIPG, which is now known as Shanghai Port, for the Austria International. And Birmingham, Dan Dele, have announced the signing of goalkeeper Mattia Zakic on a season long loan from Wolves. Not only that, it's a done deal that Dayan Iliav joins SKF Sered on loan for next season. Not only that, in terms of done deals, another one, Morka will announce the signing of striker Jonah Ayunga for an undisclosed three from Bristol Rovers on a two-year deal. And it's a done deal that Jamie Cumming has signed for Gillingham on a season-long loan deal. And it's another done deal that Scanthorpe has signed Todd Bilson on a season-long loan deal from Coventry. But for done deals where they stay at the club, contracts, George Thompson and Jack Muldoon have signed new undisclosed deals with the club. And that wraps up today's episode of Evening Transfer Talk. See you tomorrow after we're done with the Olympics and probably and stuff. <laughs>